Hello viewers, Ford DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be showing you how to test the polarity on a speaker. I'm slowly finalizing the audio system overhaul on my truck after dealing with a mess of wiring. In order to ensure all the speakers are working correctly, I had to check the polarity on both the speakers and wiring. I was also able to reference a wiring diagram specific for this truck to determine which was positive and negative. This will be based on the color coding on the wire's insulation. Finding the electrical polarity is used to determine which source is a positive and which is a negative. This is important on both the wiring and speaker sides. First I'll have to remove the speaker. In this case I'm working with the passenger door. Someone had soldered on wire extensions to the speaker terminals, cut off the factory plugs, then twisted the wires together and used electrical tape. So there is a potential for errors here. All the speakers were hooked up in the same manner. With the speaker removed, normally you would need jumper cables, however, I can make use of these soldered wires here. There is spade terminals on the rear of the speaker, one is larger and the other is smaller. I already know the larger terminal is positive and the smaller terminal is negative. But to double check this, we can use a small amount of voltage. Only use a very small power source, such as a used AA battery, which is rated at 1.5 volts. While there is still a risk here, a higher voltage can certainly damage the coil inside the speaker. Touch the wires on the battery terminals, one on the negative and the other on the positive, and watch the speaker movement. Speakers use an electromagnet to push out the cone. The correct movement of the speaker should push out. At the moment the speaker is pulling in, so the polarity is wrong. Only do this briefly, while this is a small battery, holding the speaker movement for an extended period of time can damage the coil too. Flipping the battery around, the speaker is pushed out so the polarity is correct. Positive is connected to the positive, and negative is connected to the negative. Now as a close-up, you're able to see the speaker movement better. When speakers are moving in the correct direction, the amplitude is increased. In simple terms, a higher audio output. If polarity is mixed up between speakers, so they're not moving in the same direction, one will cancel out the other in opposite movements, and you'll be left with poor audio performance. Cleaning up the mess, I desoldered the wires in the rear. They were removed and the speakers will be connected using spade terminals instead. There is a very low voltage output to the speakers. Using a digital multimeter, set it to the 200 millivolt DC setting. Ensure the wires don't make contact with the body or each other, otherwise it'll create a short. Now turn on the radio and you'll need to turn up the sound to increase the voltage. I have music playing, however to avoid any copyright issues, it's been metered out. Connect the positive probe to one wire and the negative probe to the other wire, then watch the value. The value will vary based on the audio output, the only thing we're looking for here is a positive or negative value. As the value fluctuates, it stays as positive, the red probe is on the positive wire and the black probe is on the negative wire. Make notes of the wire casing color. Here I'm working with one gray with a blue stripe and the other is a gray with a yellow stripe. If the probes were reversed, in other words the polarity is mixed up, you'll see a negative value like this. For another process of elimination is using a known ground source and only testing one speaker wire. This known ground source can be anything from a wire, body bolt, or in this case I'm using the steel structure under the dashboard. The black probe is used here, then using the red probe, check the wires. The one with the value will be the positive wire, leaving the other to be the negative. Unfortunately the wires are too short to hook up speakers. I cut them back to expose clean conductor, solder on extensions using the leftover wiring from a new amp. I did match the same color coding as to what's used on the amp. The solder connection is also heat shrinked. I purchased quality spade connectors, there are two sizes. So beyond the wires being color coded, the spade terminals also have a specific size for the speakers, so they can't be mixed up. These crimp terminals not only clamp onto the conductor, but also clamp onto the wires insulation providing more of a reliable connection and have vinyl covers to protect the terminals. New videos released every week on my channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, it's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.